and to speak truth. Ugh. I have forgot our way. We'll uh, rest us. Oh, tarry for the comfort of the day. Oh. Hey! What? Hey, 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 what? Hey, hey, hey. What? See, it's so, Lysander, to find you out of bed. For I upon this bank will rest my head. One turf shall serve as a, as a pillow for us both. One heart, one bed, two bosoms and one throb. Nay, good <laughs> Lysander! For my sake, my dear, lie for their off yet. Do not lie so near. Oh, take the sweet sense of my innocence. Love takes meaning in love's conference. I mean, my heart unto yours is knit, so that but one heart we can make of it. No bedroom need deny for lying so, Hermia. I do not lie. Lysander riddles very prettily. But, gentle friend, for love and courtesy, lie further off. Such separation as may well be said becomes a virtuous bachelor and a maid. So far be distant. <sighs> Uh, and good night, sweet friend. Ugh. Here is my bed. Sleep. Give thee all his rest. And with half that wish, the wishes I speak press. Through the forest have I gone, but Athenian found I none. Night and silence. Who is here? Weeds of Athens he doth wear. This is he, this is he, my master said. Despise the Athenian maid. And here, the maiden sleeps sound on the dank and dirty ground. Oh, pretty soul, she durst not lie. Near this lack, love, this kittle courtesy. Churl upon thy eyes, I throw all the power this charm doth owe. When thou wakest, let love forbid. Sleep the seat on thy eyelid. Shows art that through thy sweet bosom makes me see thy heart. Where is Demetrius? Oh, how fit a word is that vile name to perish by my sword! Do not say so, Lysander, say not so. What though he love your Hermia, yet Hermia still loves you, then be content. Content with Hermia? No. I do repent all the tedious minutes with her I have spent. Not Hermia, but Helena. Who will not change a raven for a dove? I will by a man's reason swayed, and reason says you are the worthier maid. Wherefore was I to this keen mockery born? When at your hands did I deserve this scorn? Good troth you do me wrong, good sooth you do, in such disdainful manner me to woo. Fear you well, perforce I must confess, I thought you lord and more true gentleness. Oh, that a lady of one man refused, should of another therefore be abused! Oh. 
She sees not Hermia. Hermia, ugh, sleep out there. <laughs> and never mayest thou come Lysander near us for a surfeit of the sweetest things the deepest loathing to my stomach brings. And to address all your powers and love and might, to honor Helen and to be her knight.